time 758 first for traffic peter schofield in your local honda dealers traffic center peter now that the sun is out and shining i'm imagining what snow we have is going to melt off fairly fast that's what they're saying uh still a pretty sight as long as it does uh, stick around for a while we like to see that we do have a fender bender on the bay bridge by the way this is on the lower deck of the bay bridge maybe eastbound before the tunnel CHP got on this one quickly, helped everybody off the bridge at Treasure Island, but still you find some sluggish traffic left over on the lower deck of the Bay Bridge, approaching the tunnel after you pass 4th Street. As for the upper deck of the Bay Bridge, Interstate 80 westbound, almost no traffic there, coming into San Francisco thanks to the metering lights that are set on stun. Looking south, 101 northbound in the Coyote Valley, uh, that slows from Leesley and Gilroy to East Dunn in Morgan Hill. After that, you're in San Jose. That's where 101 northbound jams up from Capitol Expressway to 237. Highway 17 northbound in the Santa Cruz Mountains. A slow ride this morning because of the weather, some icy spots on the roadway, and some people heading in that direction to take pictures of the snow, making it slow from Granite Creek to Alma Bridge Road. Next traffic update, 808 on the traffic leader, KCBS. Well, that didn't take long after our overnight snow, rain, sleet, whatever we had. Uh, the sun is out now this morning, and we expect it to stay out for the rest of the day. No more showers, but it will be a chilly day, no better than the upper 40s and low 50s. Traffic and weather together on the 8th on all news 106.9 and AM 740 KCBS. It is Tuesday, February 5th, 2019. Coming up on KCBS. I'm Holly Kwan near the Altamont Pass, where a snowy wonderland disappears fast. And this is Matt Bigler in the Santa Cruz Mountains, where drivers are going out of their way for a snow day. Did you make a snowball? Oh, yeah, I did. And the House Committee is preparing to subpoena the acting attorney general. Good morning. I'm Stan Bunker. I'm Susan Lee Taylor. CBS News covers the world next. When you need to know, KCBS AM, KFRC FM, and HD1, San Francisco, Oakland, San Jose, a radio.com station. It's 8 o'clock. This is CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by Capital One. I'm Steve Cave, and a leading congressional Democrat vows to get answers from the acting attorney general, even if he has to take legal means when there's testimony before the House Judiciary Committee later on this week. CBS's Allison Keene. Chairman Gerald Nadler says he hopes he never has to use a subpoena, but he will have it ready in case acting attorney general Matthew Whitaker tries to dodge what he calls uncomfortable questions. Nadler says he should be prepared to answer questions about his communications with the White House, as well as his refusal to recuse himself from overseeing special counsel Robert Mueller's probe into Russian meddling. In a joint statement, the Justice Department and Homeland Security say today foreign influence did not materially impact the 2018 midterm elections. Federal prosecutors in New York have subpoenaed documents from President Trump's inaugural committee. CBS's Paula Reed says it's about how money was raised, who got it, and what it was used for. The subpoena is looking for information about any inaugural events and who attended those events. A spokesman for the committee confirmed they did receive the subpoena and it is their intention to cooperate with the inquiry. President Trump delivers his State of the Union speech tonight. White House aide Kellyanne Conway offering a morning preview. On the filter, he's speaking directly to the American people about what we've accomplished, how it affects them, what its vision is, what the top priorities will be, and really how we can come together. U.S. troops may be on the way out of Syria, but the top American military man in the region says there will still be pressure applied to try to prevent ISIS from regrouping. We should expect that they will attempt to, uh, to, to attack us and continue to, uh, to regenerate themselves, and we will, we will continue to put pressure on them uh, to prevent that.